people grow the some people who are relatively well off not in terms of economy but mentally may be more aware will grow at a much faster rate as compared to the rest a society which is we are talking about egalitarian so egalitarianism is a process of evolution yeah. right when a society suppose i have reached as far as geography is concerned my knowledge after a point of time my growth may be minimal if you have if you don't have information your growth may be a higher percentage but even after a point your growth will also be minimal so that is a different aspect when you are talking about the egalitarian society i am talking about society as a whole a region as a whole a region as a complex entity a region as a process to understand that's the basic problem in understanding this section also because you can have several views and each view may be conflicting may appear conflicting as well especially in this section of geography so when we talk about various aspect ultimately when we are dealing with man environment relationship it is very complex you can have several ideas each idea in itself may be complete but conflicting with the others and that confliction that conflict creates uh, ambiguity in the mind for example if you take the 60s evolution quantitative revolution ko dekh lo behavioralism ka naam suna hoga jaise perspective ki agar hum baat karte hain to sara similar lagega aur sare mein similarity bhi hai ultimate aim of each geographer and each philosophy is the human well being but what should be the process of human well being they differ i should have this way if this way is uh, adopted human well being will be best no no this is not a way if you adopt this way human well being will be different so when you deal with those topics like behavioral geography radical geography humanistic geography all these are nothing but ultimate aim of all them are similar that is human well being but they have conflicting ideas they have conflicting views so for that when you try to give example it should not be from a particular book it should not be from what you have read it is possible only when you have understood that when you have understood the basics of man environment relationship when you have understood the uh, basics of the evolution of a society right for example i am talking about that geography has its own play a region let's say physical context it is physical aspect will dominate the population density any doubt right will have a different impact on settlement whether it is uh the scattered settlement the compact settlement or isolated hamleted settlement so that will be primarily determined by physical factors it doesn't mean that compact settlement is not the less of those mountainous region so the moment we hear about mountains as far as settlement is concerned what type of settlement will have it sparse. sparse but look at shimla one of the most compacted settlement in our country hope we are getting that so when we learn man environment relationship there is no one single statement which complete the whole or sums up the whole uh, problem or solution gives you one single statement cannot give you entire solution basically because that is one creature which is different from the rest why it is different because different people may have different opinion over one particular topic and can have justification of his her own opinion right so that's what a region when a region is made in pure physical terms there is not much problem but the moment we learn about the, let's like for example the general landscape and cultural landscape landscape the term is what we can see on the surface that is whatever we can see is landscape whatever we can see with this together with human becomes cultural landscape right for example if we are talking about the mountains so we have peaks we have valleys we have passes when we see that on the surface we have grasses we have meadows that becomes geomorphology a geomorphological landscape but when we see that how grasses had been distorted by humans how that grasses have affected the evolution of animal husbandry in that area that becomes cultural landscape right so whatever cultural landscape has been formed how it has been evolved will be a complex phenomena the same meadows 
of the same grassland may be used differently by Africans and may be used differently by Americans. Right? May be used differently by Europeans. May be used differently by Indians. A, let's say, suppose uh, a piece of land, a big piece of land. It's a physical entity, it's a region. Now, for an industrialist that has a different perspective, that has a different meaning. For agriculturalist, that will be a different meaning. For the school going or college going kids, kids that will have different meaning. Achha, bahut bada yaar, cricket khelne maza aayega. Achha, yahan pe titra bada plantation agriculture achha ho jayega. Settlement wale ko ke, real estate wale ko kitna ho. Now, whatever we are talking about, we are talking about the 21st century. Now, imagine the same in 5th century. Imagine the same in 2500 BC. I mean the same in 15th century and 1000 AD. So, the perspective will differ according to the evolution or civilizational attainment of a society. So, man environment relationship keeps on changing. Hence, a region itself is very dynamic. And that dynamism is produced because of very continuous, regular and intense interaction between the man and the region. Imagine Delhi in medieval period. Forget about medieval period. Imagine Delhi in British period before 1911-12 when it was capital was transferred. And imagine Delhi in the present day context. Right. Forget about that. Imagine Delhi in 1970 and imagine Delhi in 2016. It's totally different. Right. So that complexities to understand that itself is very complex. So when you deal with any of the approaches, you should learn to appreciate that. And that appreciation will come from the basic learning of the what is the basic aim and objective of a geographer. Right. Basic aim and objective of a geographer is to understand the relative problems and try to pass some solutions. Try to recommend some, recommend some solutions. Now, this is that's why it, it is very, very uh, different subject as compared to other humanities. When I am talking about landforms, the moment it comes to landforms, so if you are an academician, you will simply think about mountains. You will simply think about plateau, plains and whatever. But when you think as a would-be ice officer, it has a different meaning. In fact, it has far more meaning than a simple college going a student. A mountain means relatively a resource rich region, resource less region in terms of minerals, in terms of other aspects. A mountain means a sparse population. A mountain means a scattered settlement. A mountain means low rate of birth. A mountain means low population growth. Right? When you think about mountain and low population, suppose the birth rate is very low. Let's suppose we are having a discourse with a person coming from mountainous area. So you plain people bearded lot of children. So what makes plain people to bear a lot of children? Hmm? That is one aspect. Right? One aspect. You have lot of interaction. When you f compare with tropical and temperate, there will be influence of birth rate. The tropical climate influences puberty, early puberty. The tropical climate influences the birth rate a uh, in a different and very funny manner that most of the people can't sleep properly in the night. But in a temperate region, they can sleep properly. In one go, they can completely have sleep. Now, that's one aspect affecting climate and that can have several consequences. Now, just imagine that you have a whole night very sound sleep. You are bearing less number of children, number one. But at the same time, the, your day will be far more productive than the tropical people. If you are having a very sound sleep, imagine your day productivity. And if you have 2% or 5% more productive capacity because of climate, just imagine the accumulation of wealth relatively will be much higher. So when your earning is more, now you become, this is becoming economy part. Your earning is more, your saving will be more. When your saving is more, your investment will be more. Where your investment is more, your productivity will be more. So that productivity is, has its root in geography. Right? Similarly, when we are talking about the Khaap Panchayat or for that matter any kind of 
the uh, social attitude that has its root cause in geography rest other becomes philosophy agar hum baat kare ki education ki ki education wahan pe kam hai to education to bihar mein bhi kam hai aap economy ki baat kare to punjab and haryana is one of the richest state of our country yet they are producing very poor social condition relatively as compared to look at even bihar uttar pradesh or odisha which is far more under developed economically but they are producing better social condition as compared to them if you go by that then tribal society is worst in terms of economy yet they are best in terms of social condition they have much more balanced in fact positive sex ratio most of the tribal that's why they have matriarchal society right now one very important sound logical reasoning a uh, reasonable explanation is when the human individual or family or a society has contribution in the economic well being of the family they will be respected they will be given their due place the moment they are giving given due place they will have their say in decision making process the moment a wife is having a say in the decision making process whether a baby girl or a baby boy female fertility will be least the moment a girl will not be considered as a burden female fertility will be least the moment when the girl is not supposed to be ki mere naak kata diya isne usse shaadi karke the rate of uh, killing will not be high the parity will be there so its attitude i'm talking about the attitude of a society is fundamental i'm not talking about the only factor fundamental to look into different social problems and that attitude has its foundation in economy and that economy has its foundation in geography that's how a region is built up that's how a region will be formed and when you took that that's the ap regional approach right let's say suppose hum perspective in geography iske baad aayenge uh, systematic approach if you talk about when uh, what's your name महिमा कुड यू गेट दैट आई डोंट नीड टू डिस्कस डोंट हाइड एनी थिंग इन साइड योर जैसे छुपाना मत कुछ भी कि नहीं मैं मैं मेरा कुछ और परस्पेक्टिव है सर का कुछ और परस्पेक्टिव यू कैन हैव डिस्कोर्स विदाउट एनी प्रॉब्लम वेन द इकोनॉमी इज प्राइमरीली प्राइमरी सेक्टर मैंने उसमें मेल डोमिनेंट आ जाता है जब कब जब वो ग्रो करने लगता है अर्ली स्टेज में नहीं होगा ट्राइबल सोसाइटी इज द मोस्ट प्राइमरी एक्टिविटीज राइट बट दे विल नॉट हैव डिफरेंसेज बिकॉज दे आर बेसिकली फूड गैदर और हंटर्स राइट अब हंटिंग हम कर सकते हैं तो मेरी सिस्टर फूड गैदरिंग तो कर ही सकती है हम जाके सपोज करो किसी जानवर को मार के लाए हो सकता है चार दिन में हम एक जानवर हमको ना मिले लेकिन जाके पेड़ से फल तोड़ना इज नॉट अ बिग डील सपोज आई से माई सिस्टर जस्ट गेट लॉस्ट और मे बी माई वाइफ को, कोई काम नहीं जाओ भर में जाओ हम भी चले जाते हैं कहीं और हम भी जाकर के चार आम तोड़ के लाए खाएंगे तुम भी आम खाते हो हम हिरन नहीं खाएंगे हम वेजिटेरियन बन जाएंगे सो द प्राइमरी सोर्सेस का जब डिपेंडेंसी रेशियो बढ़ता जाता है तो डोमिनेंस बढ़ता जाता है वेन यू बिकम डिपेंडेंट ऑन अदर्स इन ऑल लाइकलीहुड यू आर गोइंग टू बी एक्सप्लाइटेड दैट इज ह्यूमन नेचर अब वो एक सोसाइटी में जनरलाइज हो जाता है या टू इंडिविजुअल रिलेशन में जनरलाइज हो जाता है या इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे जनरलाइज हो जाता है सो वेन यूर डिपेंडेंसी दस वाई इफ यू लेकर जियो पॉलिटिक्स की जब बात करते हो तो जियो पॉलिटिक्स इज द एरिया जहां पे किसी भी रिसोर्स की वजह से वो एरिया इंपॉर्टेंट है उसकी डिपेंडेंसी को बढ़ा देगा जो डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज हो गया वो ऑर्नामेंटल वर्ड डिफरेंट दे देगा जस्टिस इक्वालिटी लिबर्टी एंड ऑल बट उसका मेन रीजन कुछ और होगा जैसे आप सपोज करो कि इराक की बार की बात करते हैं अफगानिस्तान की बात करते हैं आप राइट वट इज द नेम एलिमिनेशन ऑफ दिस एलिमिनेशन ऑफ दैट बट अल्टीमेट एम क्या था रिसोर्स पे कब्जा करना आप अफ्रीका में देख लो अफ्रीका में जैसे चाइना का भी डिफरेंट रेल लाइन बन रहा है चाइना इज वेरी वेरी एक्टिव इन अफ्रीका दैट इज चैलेंजिंग मोस्ट ऑफ दट इज दिस अफ्रीकन डेवलपमेंट कर रहे हैं डेवलपमेंट उनकी नहीं कर रहे हैं वो खुद की कर रहे हैं दे आर इनडायरेक्टली हैविंग कंट्रोल ओवर देयर रिसोर्सेज दे वॉन्ट टू हैव कंट्रोल ओवर देयर रिसोर्सेज राइट सो एक ऑर्नामेंटल वर्ड होता है सो वुड बी एस ऑफिसर के नॉट गो आफ्टर एंड जस्ट बिलीव इन दैट ऑर्नामेंटल वर्ड you'll have to go into the root cause the moment you understand that uh, when a society is growing and the primary sector is growing after a point of time that will lead to a different social structure 
राइट अब सपोज करो कि एक बहुत छोटा सा एग्जांपल मैं अक्सर देता हूं कि एक एग्रीकल्चर फील्ड को सपोज करो मेरे पास वी हैव फाइव हेक्टेयर्स ऑफ लैंड एंड आई हैव टू सन्स एंड टू डॉटर्स मे बी डॉटर्स आर मच मच ओल्डर ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ओल्ड एंड सन मे बी ट्वेल्व ईयर्स ओल्ड इफ आई एम नॉट गोइंग ऑन माई फील्ड टू टेक केयर ऑफ माई लेबर हंड्रेड ऑफ लेबर हु आर वर्किंग वुड आई एवर बी सेंडिंग माई डॉटर्स देर कि जाओ तुम वहां पे लेबर काम कर रहा है उसको देख दाख लेना वुड आई बी एवर सेंडिंग नो वाई ऑब्वियसली द लेवल ऑफ वनबिलिटी माई डॉटर आई माइट हैव इन माई माइंड माई द वनबिलिटी ऑफ माई डॉटर इन डीलिंग विद दो लेबर्स लेकिन 12 साल के हम बेटे को भेज देंगे वहां पे कि जाओ देख लेना कोई बदमाशी करे तो मुझे बताना Getting that point, so that here itself, the, the as, as far as the requirement is concerned, there is a discrimination, and that discrimination is associated with that factor that suppose she is supposed to deal with. Now suppose, करो कि मेरा एक institution है, एक IS institution है. I won't hesitate in sending my daughters to take care here. I will never hesitate because I know the kind of people she is going to interact with. I will have lot of confidence in the type of people she is going to interact with, so I'll not discriminate between my sons and daughters. So, obviously, there is no discrimination in my mind. चलो भाई मेरा business है, उस business में मेरी बेटी भी देख सकती है, बेटा भी उतना हो सकता है बेटी more efficiently देख ले, because she might have much greater capacity and maybe having more empathy, more vocal capacity, more uh, attractive capacity in terms of getting students and all, more convincing capacity because she her oratory skill is better. Suppose. So I will not be discriminating. The moment I am not discriminating, they will be equal to me. So I never want that I shouldn't have a daughter. I should have a preferred son and all. So female preferred side will be less. So it is the requirement which ultimately forms the basis of the attitude, and that attitude is basically founded by the economic perspective, and that is the main reason for any society to behave in a different manner. देर माइट बी सेवरल कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस अब उसमें क्या हुआ एजुकेशन का भी वही आ जाएगा एजुकेशन विल ऑल्सो बी ए कॉन्सिक्वेंस सो ए रीजन इज मेड प्राइमरली बाय प्राइमरीली बाय जोग्राफी देन इट विल इवॉल्व थ्रू इकोनॉमी जोग्राफी एंड इकोनॉमी कंबाइंडली विल फॉर्म द फाउंडेशन फॉर अ सोसाइटी एंड द वे अ सोसाइटी सपोज टू बिहेव इज प्राइमरीली अबाउट अ रीजन मे बी ए क्वेश्चन मार्क इट इज प्योरली रीजन अब उस रीजन का इंट्रैक्शन कितना है लोगों से राइट सपोज कीजिए कि आई मीट लॉट ऑफ पीपल सो लेट्स वन यूरोपियन वन अमेरिकन मे बी वन ऑस्ट्रेलियन सो माई व्यू ऑफ वर्ल्ड विल बी टोटली डिफरेंट मच मच वाइडर मच मच ब्रॉडर एज कंपेयर टू फैम कन्फाइन टू माई ओन हाउस एंड विलेज आई हैव नेवर विजिटेड द नियर माई विलेज ऑल्सो इमेजिन the kind of my mental map about humans right so that is very very subjective and that's why subjective environment is far far more important as compared to the objective one how do you perceive things so that by perceptual environment as far as the application of geography and it would be as of as a writing is concerned is far far more important than the objective reality or real environment systematic approach that is when we take one activity of human and study that in complete that is regional approach is defined that is for example here let's say i have taken example of let's say suppose northern plain when we are discussing everything every uniqueness of northern plain and the reasons behind that that is a regional approach when we compare northern plain to peninsular plateau it is again a regional approach when we compare let's say say india or oriental world to occidental world that is a broad regional approach now when we take a single activity of human and then compare across the region what has made the distinctive characteristics of one particular activity in different region that becomes systematic approach or systematic uh, study let's say suppose agriculture 
So agriculture in India and how it is different from agriculture in Canada? That becomes systematic approach. Right? Human behavior in the tropical world of a, let's say suppose if you are talking about the uh, industrial activities in Chota Nagpur Plateau and uh, industrial activities in uh, Lorraine region of France or Ru region, Ru Westphalia region of Germany and France and the same in Manchurian Plateau of China and the same in let's say uh, Lake region of USA. So industrial activities most whatever I have named there resource rich right but there are good number of uh, resource rich region and minerally rich regions they are underdeveloped good number of minerally rich regions which are developed good number of minerally deficient region which are also industrially developed then becomes systematic analysis so it becomes it is systematic analysis. the best part of system analysis is that it is it can be quantified can be quantified through systematic approach the things can be quantified and the moment you can quantify it becomes easy to make laws models theories which are very handy in a generalistic pattern to explain things and phenomena and man environment relationship whereas in the regional approach it becomes descriptive descriptive is called what you call ideographic that is descriptive this is what you call nomothetic Nomothetic means scientific. That is descriptive. When you become <coughs> descriptive, descriptive about a particular region and the wholesome a region as a whole, then you are studying and then you are talking about different perspective and the combination of factors which has produced that region. When you take a single aspect and then you try to compare it with the different regions, why it is high, why it is low, then you can quantify it. And that's how it is the systematic approach has been the basis for law making in geography. Now there will always be a conflict between these two. Like uh, settlement like a distance decay rule distance decay rule the moment the distance decay your choice is is limited or you prefer the nearest shop to serve you whatever service you want you don't want to travel extra mile for any goods and services that's what you call distance decay rule for example if I have to purchase a, a toffee right so if I am starting from my house rational admi kya hoga? the nearest shop pe jo toffee mil le leke ghar chale hao lekin miri, mujhe us dukandar ki shakal achhi nahi lagti suppose karo sara rule fail kar gaya na right law kya hai ki a rational or economic man will always prefer to take goods and services by traveling the nearest distance right now I know that let's say suppose Kroll Bag mein sari cheeze mil jati but at the same time I know that cannot place mein jo park naya bana hai wo bahut achcha hai so instead of going into Kroll Bag I'll prefer to purchase goods from uh, uh, cannot place by traveling extra miles because I have to spend few moments or some minutes in park right so that law is failed getting there let's say industrial location Industrial location, the most important factor which affects the location of industries is raw material, especially the weight losing industry. Now, Japan doesn't have any raw material and they have established industries. Right? In that sense, global perspective, so when laws are made, systematic geography, obviously it is very handy 
for example if i want to establish an industry there are some at least set pattern there are some very small page two three pages norms that if you want to establish an industry these are the requirement you should try to take care of it so i have a model before me which can be very handy as an economist for me as an industrialist for me as a businessman for me right now but the moment you compare with system and both are having lot of flaws regional approach map law nahi bana sakte because it becomes too descriptive to make a model hey, suppose karo ki agar jaise hum ek model ki baat karte hain let's say suppose model for a, the film industry राइट right? अब उसको अगर हम बहुत डिस्क्रिप्टिव कर दें कि उसकी टांगे ऐसी होनी चाहिए उसके पांव ऐसे होने चाहिए उसकी उंगलियां इतनी लंबी होनी चाहिए उसकी हाइट इतनी लंबी उसके चेस्ट इतना ब्रॉड होना चाहिए ऑल दैट तो इफ यू बिकम वेरी डिस्क्रिप्टिव अबाउट दैट नो मैन और वुमेन मे बी एबल टू मैच दैट सो यू कैनॉट क्रिएट मॉडल दैट्स वाई वेन वी से क्वांटिटिव रिवोल्यूशन एंड एक्चुअली वी आर डीलिंग विथ डुअलिज्म डाइकोटोमी राइट नाउ दिस इज डुअलिज्म फिजिकल वर्सेज ह्यूमन Regional versus systematic, quantitative versus descriptive, all are dualism. That we are trying to branch out. We are trying to create offshoots of a particular idea, of a particular philosophy, right? So when we compare, there are several approaches, and now that's why it it is becoming very complex. Those who will might be supporting systematic approach will be criticized by one who are supporting regional approach and vice versa. right so in that perspective it becomes relatively very complex